Excellencies, let's not allow another iron curtain to descend on the European continent. Border closures will not stop international scrutiny. In view of the seriousness of the reported abuses, let me recall that human rights violations are not an internal affair. They are of interest to the international community. The response of law enforcement agencies was again violent and disproportionate. To date, more than 10,000 people have been abusively arrested for taking part in peaceful protests, adding to some 1,500 already arrested since the crackdown started back in April. Most of them are now free, and I call on the authorities to immediately release and drop all politically motivated charges against those who remain arbitrarily detained. I have been informed of allegations of rape, electrocution, and other forms of physical and psychological torture. What is more, the perpetrators seem confident that they will not be prosecuted because of prevailing lawlessness and impunity. Yet it is the responsibility of the Belarusian state to prevent, investigate, and punish these crimes, which are all the more serious because they were committed in a premeditated and organized manner. I call on the authorities to shed full light on these tragic events and to guarantee the right of victims of torture to obtain redress. Given the abuse they suffered, these victims are in such a state of post-traumatic shock that they still require urgent humanitarian aid.